Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. My hair is very lively right now because I just blew it out. I literally just washed it yesterday. But tonight I'm getting dinner with my girlfriend and we're going to this like... <laughs> we're going to this fast food like market. But we're going to get dinner first. We're kind of just like going. I want to go with... She got invited and then obviously like I can go with her. But like... I don't plan on getting any food there unless there's like a fun dessert, but I just wanted to like take you guys along for vlogmas. I feel like it would be fun, but just blew my hair out and you guys, I have a haircut when I go home to New Hampshire and I've been getting so many comments like, oh my God, your hair's getting so long. Like it looks so good. And I'm like, no, I want to cut it so bad because I always get long layers and some face framing and it just grows out really nice. That's like what we have here. I haven't got my hair cut since I think it was like April. But this is, it is so long. Like I don't think you guys realize like it's almost down to my butt and it's healthy and everything, but it's like so middle heavy. Like it just doesn't, it just, it's heavy. Like physically on my head heavy. Ponytails kind of give me a headache. It just feels like it's like weighing me down and I cannot wait to cut it and I also really like having my layers and I have like no layers right now and that's what makes my hair like look so nice like gives it the blowout look like I like and like these pieces right here are usually like up here you know so I just can't wait to cut it and I'm gonna do a good chop like I'll show you guys um how I had it last December actually is like how I want it cut like, I'm gonna turn it down, but like this video that's pinned on my page, it's like pretty, I mean, it's still really long, but it's definitely like significantly shorter than how it is right now. Like I kinda wanna cut it like here and then my face framing layers, like I said, I usually do to like my cheek, but I think I'm gonna do like just to where I can tuck it behind my ear. So like cheekbone maybe so that it's more, I don't know, I'm like no longer afraid of curtain bangs because I've done like close to curtain bangs so many times that I'm like, it is literally fine and my hair grows like a weed. So I just need it cut so bad. It's like, it's been bothering me for months, <laughs> literal months. Um, anyways, just got ready for the day. I did my morning routine as usual. Also my skin. It's not bad, like it's just a few little things going on here and I can tell it's from either a makeup I wore or something I ate, which... Okay, I feel like in every vlog I'm like, I think it was this. But I am like pretty positive the brand Elmhurst and the brand Malk, their brand of like alternative milk breaks me out like really bad. And I don't know. Sometimes I think literally all nut milk and oat milks do because when I do strictly half and half in my coffee, my skin clears up. <laughs> so maybe I'll start doing half and half in my cold brew as well. But I don't know. To be determined. I used to do that and then it's like as soon as I started adding in alternative milks, it's like when my skin got crazy. But I don't usually do the alternative milks with all like the gums and stuff, which is like apparently what breaks you out. I literally don't know you guys, but I'm so cozy in this outfit today. So I want to show you guys. I'm just going to be hanging at the house. Hopefully the bags that I ordered to um, ship out my Depop stuff. Hopefully that those come in so I can start shipping out the Depop orders. Because otherwise, like, I don't really know what to do today. <laughs> Maybe I'll wrap a few presents, like, for Anna and put them under the tree. Because all the boxes are, like 
driving me nuts. But like I said, I'm gonna get dinner. I think I might be decorating my tree tonight. Depends because my girlfriend has some stuff. She has like um, maintenance people at her at her house and she can't leave till they're done. So it depends like when they finish, if she can come over to, to do the tree with me um, before we go to dinner. But we're gonna go to dinner tonight and then the market like I told you guys. But here's my outfit. I'm so, so cozy. These pants I recently got from Eberje. I'll link them. This is the same brand as those Christmas jammies I wore in yesterday's vlog. And then this shirt is the brand Intimacy. It's the collab with Jennifer Lopez. And just wearing some skims, socks, and then all the same jewelry. It's 12 o'clock now, so I'm going to make myself some lunch in a sec. And I had no idea that it was Friday today because... Like this morning at coffee, my girlfriend was like, oh, well, I asked her, I was like, do you have any events today? Like work events? And she was like, no, just that market later if we want to go. And I was like, I thought that was Friday. And she's like, it is Friday. And I was like, what? Like actually what? I don't know. This week went by so quick. Actually, I got a package while I was in the shower. I wonder if it was my, uh mailers because i really i'm like so no it's not delivered yet i'm like so anxious about the depop orders you guys like this is why i don't like to sell them because i'm so afraid of messing something up or taking too long or upsetting you guys or like i don't know i'm like it actually actually gives me like so much anxiety it's part of the reason well there's a lot of reasons why i stopped doing i made you know i had like that clothing brand there's a lot of reasons why i stopped that but like one of the reasons was I just felt like there was too much room for error and I couldn't fathom like messing something up for you guys. I don't know. I get like really bad anxiety even like <laughs> earlier. So, okay. This is like a BTS of being an influencer, but um, usually after you post a brand deal, the brand will want to see like the, the analytics, the insights from your posts. So you have to go into like Instagram, whatever, and like screenshot them and then send them over so they can see like how many people viewed it, how many people like clicked the link, whatever it is. And um, this morning I was sending them over for a brand to my management and they asked for them in the middle of me posting about Vlogmas Day 1 posting and I was like, oh, well, let me do this before I forget. So I went and I sent them over and I had copied the link to the, the insights. You guys, I posted the insight, the link to the insights on my Instagram story when I posted Vlogmas Day 1 and it was up for like an hour. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I didn't, like, I know I didn't, like, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, no one's gonna be mad at me for that. Like, it's just my analytics. Like, it's not like a secret necessarily. Like, it's, it's, there's no like top secret information on there at all. But I was just like mortified. You know what? You know how I mentioned I'm like, I don't feel embarrassment often or anything like that. When I mess up on, like, when I accidentally post the wrong link on social media or like if I, if something went wrong with like a Depop order or like something like that, when stuff like that happens publicly, I'm like <gasps> mortified. Like I was mortified that I posted that link. And it was up for an hour. Oh, I just felt so stupid, but that just brings me back to like, I'm just so anxious about doing those Depop orders correctly that it's like, <sighs> like weighing me down. Anyways, I have like, no food left over, which is part of the reason why my girlfriend and I are gonna get dinner tonight. Um, but I do have, I have like only meat left over, but I have lots of the buffalo chicken I made in the crock pot, so I'm gonna have some of that. I also have, you know what, I can like make a little salad like I did yesterday. I'm sick of it, but it really, it really is the only option. So I'm gonna do buffalo chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, some, these are so good blue cheese stuffed olives, which you guys, I grew up eating this thing for breakfast and well, I'll just tell you what it is. So my 
dad used to eat it and I would always eat it too. A bagel with cream cheese and green olives on top. And I don't know, I just grew up eating it. It was really good. And then I like, I used to work at a cafe, which I recently found out closed. And that makes me really sad. But anyways, I worked at a cafe, like a coffee shop. And we were like redoing the menu a little bit. And I had suggested the bagel with cream cheese and olives. And people were always kind of like, what? Like, that doesn't sound very good. But it was put on the menu. And then like customers come in and they would be like, oh my God, I used to eat that as a kid. Like, and people liked it and it's really really good I don't know if it's like an Italian thing like I I have Italian in me but I'm not like Italian you know like I think my dad is like 50% Italian so you know like I'm like I'm Italian but I, I'm also like a million other things like I wouldn't consider myself an Italian per se but I don't know if that's like an Italian thing that was like passed down and my dad ate it because his parents and then like I don't really know, but like people would be like, oh my God, I ate that as a kid. Like they would order it and they would like it. And people that always like knock it end up really loving it because it's really, really good. So if you guys haven't tried a bagel with cream cheese and green olives, try it. But I'm saying that because these blue cheese stuffed olives give that same vibe. It's so good. But okay, make a little salad. And I guess we're just gonna like dilly dally today. <laughs> like honestly, I don't really. I, oh, you know what I have to do? I have to write a script for a TikTok for a brand. Okay, let me make lunch. Also, you guys, well, I just ate lunch. It was so good. That chicken I made, I think I explained it in the last vlog, but I think I ended up cutting it out because my vlog was so long and I was like, girl, it's literally day one. Like, stop yapping. But I think I cut it out. But um, the buffalo chicken I made in the crock pot, it's the only way I will cook chicken nowadays if i already said this just literally ignore me but i will only cook chicken breast in the crock pot because it's just the best easiest way you put it in there you put like an entire container of whatever sauce you're feeling some salt pepper and like whatever spices you like and you just leave it there for like six hours and then you shred it and it's like done like it's literally the easiest way to cook chicken but all I did, because people were asking for the buffalo chicken recipe, is I put two chicken breasts in the crock pot, poured an entire container of this like buffalo sauce I got at Whole Foods, uh, a teeny bit of jalapeno beef broth, mainly because I want to use that beef broth up and it's good for you, but also to add like just a tiny bit more liquid, because I want it to be like real saucy. And then I added some sour cream, some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and then let it sit. And then when it was done cooking, after I shredded it, I added a little bit more sour cream, mix it all in. It's also like a really great way to spread out two chicken breasts because if I just like baked two chicken breasts, I would eat one in one sitting, the other one in the other sitting. So you only get two meals, but I've had like three or four meals with that chicken already. And it's, there's still like three or four meals left in it. Like <laughs> it just like really spreads. Um, oh, I have a call in 30 minutes. God, I just saw that. But I really quickly want to give a shout out because I have been working with this graphic designer on like a few things over the last couple of years or maybe a year. I Now I can't remember how many things we've done together. I know we did Vlogmas. I know that we did my podcast cover. Was that it? I feel like I've done so many more things with her, but I work with this graphic designer. I'm gonna leave her information down below because she's just the greatest and genuinely like such a kind person and I enjoy working with her so much. Like I love her work, I love her as a person and I just wanted to give her a shout out because I forgot to do it yesterday, but she made the Vlogmas intro again for this year, but I will leave her information down below. I'm like endlessly thankful for her and she always makes my visions come to life because the only thing is I have like a very, very creative brain and I think I'm really good at, <clears throat> well, I think that's like partly why like I was good at like choreographing and dance and then like part of why I enjoy interior decorating so much is just because it like, I feel like I'm making my creative brain come to life. 
another reason that I like this as a job and also like why I used to like playing sims as a kid like why I like cooking it's just like my creative brain but the thing is when it comes to things like graphic design I have the vision but I cannot create it like I'm sure if I had maybe gone to school for it maybe I would be better at it but I just like I can't draw I I can't like I can't graphic design and I don't know I'm just like she's just the best because she every time I've asked her to work with me or asked her to like do a project with me she creates somehow exactly what I'm looking for without being inside my brain so I'm just like so thankful for her so if you guys are looking for a graphic designer you need her in your life I'll put her information in the description of this video now that I just realized I have that call in 30 minutes um I think I might make my coffee or should I make it after the call maybe I'll make it after the call so I can like enjoy it a little bit later in the day since I'm getting dinner do you guys ever do things <laughs> where you're just like wow my 16 year old self would like have a conniption I so like I just had to stack these two mugs because I have a bunch of mugs and I was just like wow I used to open my parents cabinets and I'd be like why the heck do they have so many mugs like why why do they stack them like why can't they just get rid of some look at me look at me I am my <laughs> I am my parents daughter like I so many years of my life. I was like why would they stack the mugs? Like why can't they just get rid of some? Here I am. <laughs> I Don't know. I don't know guys It's like The older I get I turn into all the things about my parents that I didn't like when I was younger It's so annoying and like it still annoys me. I'm like girl just get rid of some mugs, but I'm like but I love all my mugs. <laughs> I don't know. I've like turned into a collector. And I don't know where that came from. Actually, I know where it came from. It came from mom and dad. It came from mom and dad. Actually, it came from Nana. Hi. Hi, so how are you? Good, how are you guys? I just got off such an exciting call obviously I can't talk about it yet I'm so excited I'm like actually so excited I just got off a really cool call with a brand that I love and authentically use every single day ever since I learned what they were and I actually am so excited. I'm having like a pinch me moment. I'm so excited. Like actually so excited. Um, whee! I'm like, oh, freaking out. I have pit stains. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is the one thing about these shirts. Pit stains show in these shirts. And I don't even like, so I don't want my armpits that bad. Anyways. All right, it's 1.20. I think that we should go make a coffee. Actually, I should take Augie outside because he probably has to pee. And then I'll make a coffee. I'm so excited right now. Ugh, I'm like literally on a high from that call. Like I'm so excited. I can hardly believe it. This is like one of my favorite things. It hasn't even happened yet, but it's one of my favorite things I've ever done with this like career. I don't know. I'm just really excited, but it's that time of day. So let's find out what day two is. Yum. <gasps> Wait, is this sweetened? Oh man, it's sweetened. I don't really want to do that today. <laughs> we'll take a sip though. The original donut shop red velvet latte. That sounds so good. Let me see. It says there's only 12 carbs. Let's just see. Let's just brew it and see what it tastes like. You know, we'll just do a little, a little taste. Now, should I do like, I'm gonna, oh, this is dripping, hold on. I am thinking 
I'm gonna do like 12 ounces because then maybe it won't be like, I don't know. Maybe then I can like spread the sweet out a bit and it'll take me like longer to drink the sugar. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very eager to see what this smells like and tastes like, but I'm also very curious what it's gonna smell like. Red velvet is just chocolate though, isn't it? Isn't red velvet literally just chocolate dyed red? My God, it's literally red. Oh, it smells so sweet. <laughs> it smells so good though. But they should have just left it unsweetened, like the flavored pod that they have sometimes. Why is it red? Like actually, it's literally red. I'm like, did they put red 40 in this? Why is my coffee red? What does, what makes red velvet red? Cause I swear it's just, Alexa, what is red velvet? Red velvet cake contains cocoa powder, giving it a slightly acidic flavor, while chocolate cake is more chocolate forward. Okay, so they're literally both chocolate cake. <laughs> okay, my red coffee's done. This is weird, guys. This is like... Really red. It smells so sweet. I'm not drinking that. That tastes like a milkshake. That has gotta be like 95% sugar. Sorry, no. Uh, it's literally red. Come on, Keurig. What a waste. Wish I had someone here to drink this. Ugh. I don't even like it. Like, I'm not even, I'm not drinking this because I just don't feel like dealing with a high blood sugar or something like this. But also, like, ew, I feel so guilty, but this is like gross, it tastes like really bad <laughs> let's just make a cup of coffee then should i do an espresso like should i make it an americano sure why not let's make an americano since we're not doing um a keurig today simple and easy this is like my favorite at home coffee at the moment obviously when I'm not doing the Keurig situation. I don't know why, I've just been on such an Americano cook, cook? <laughs> such an Americano kick. So I just do technically four shots of espresso, but at home coffee doesn't count. It's not the same caffeine. <laughs> it is, but it doesn't feel like it. Four shots of espresso, hot water, or iced water if I'm doing an iced Americano. Just a little bit of half and half and some cinnamon. <laughs> Such a bad rapper. Literally, what is this? I love Christmas so much. Like, gift giving is such a love language for me. Like, I just love gifting people everything they want. <laughs> literally wrapped four presents and I'm done. <laughs> I'm literally done. I can't do any more. I need to go still write a script for a brand deal that I need to film, or I'm gonna be filming. I have to go and write that script still, but um, I am like sad right now because a bunch of, cause okay, obviously I do YouTube, but I'm also a huge YouTube watcher and like before I ever like did social media, like all I did, you guys, was watch YouTube, like the biggest YouTube watcher ever. And like I have been watching some of these YouTubers for like years and years and like it's cool because some of them are my friends now but a lot of them I'm still not friends with and so I still, I still watch their videos like obsessed with them and obsessed with their videos and like I watch every single one like I'm like a huge fan. And so many of the YouTubers I watch are like not doing Vlogmas fully. Like a lot of them are doing like 12 days or like 15 days and I'm like <laughs> no like I get so excited and they're not doing it this year so it makes me even happier that I'm doing it for you guys because I'm sure a lot of you would feel the same way if I only did like half of it but oh it's just like a bummer you know like I just love I just love vlogs I love watching it and I love doing it 
and it's like they're all saying like it's just a lot of work and sometimes you have to like miss out on things during the holiday season and like I totally get that um me personally I don't really miss out on much because I don't really do much <laughs> so like it doesn't really affect me but like I get if you're like around family a lot during the holidays or whatever like I can totally understand why it's like too much sometimes so I'm not like hating on them at all like I totally get it but I'm just like bummed out like I remember the year that I, I think it was the first time I did vlogmas but do you guys remember I went on the cruise the first like few days were like seven days or something I did like vlogmas on deck and it was like on a cruise and that was a lot of work because I mean like I'm talking um what's the word I'm looking for like I, I can't think of the word I'm thinking of but like not actually a lot of work like it's literally just editing a video every night like it's not a lot of work but I just mean it was exhausting is all I'm saying um because I'd like and I'm not trying to be ungrateful like I know it's like a good problem to have but like when I was on the cruise like you'd be doing the cruise stuff all day and I'd be filming my day obviously but filming doesn't take anything out of me and I'd just be like filming but like when you're out in the sun and you're like traveling or whatever you're already like so tired by the end of the day and then I'd have to edit at night and I was like so exhausted and like I was still oh my gosh yeah and I was still in school I think at that point I look back and I'm like, how did I used to do school and social media full time? I don't know how I did school. I really don't. But anyways, I am not, I am very grateful for my job and I would take all these problems a million times over. So I'm not saying that my life, that my job is really hard. So don't twist my words. I'm just... Don't twist my words, please. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not out of touch. Don't accuse me, I promise. I'm not, I, I know, I know. I love you all and I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything about them. I'm just, I'm just um, talking. I'm literally just talking. <laughs> There's no meaning behind what I'm saying. It's not deep, I promise. Also, this is like cold. I need to do my job. I need to go write the script. Answer my texts. Oh my god. I want to pick out what I want to wear tonight for dinner. And obviously I'm going to go like relatively casual because we're just going to like dinner at like a not crazy fancy place and then to like a fast food market so I don't know anything crazy but I also do want to wear something kind of cute so I'm sort of thinking this Madewell shirt but it's like getting chilly um like it's gonna be chilly outside at night and so I don't know if I want to wear a jacket or if I want to wear this scarf because I kind of want to wear this scarf but I'm worried I'll still be cold. Honestly, to be determined, I'll just see how I feel <laughs> when I actually get dressed. I don't know if I want to do my makeup right now because my girlfriend's going to come over in like 30. Yeah, I should do my makeup. Oh. No one make it weird. I'm wearing a bralette but I'm trying to put my shirt on but I should have put this on before. Did my makeup? Uh, I'm like shaking, trying to do my arm. Okay, just commit, Sophia. It's on. Oh. The inside get all hot. Um. For the outside. Yes. <laughs> Don't mind Augie's feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like the. Maybe it's the the the. the. Let's get the link. Okay. It's cute. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay. This is what I decided on. Heading off to dinner. Wait, he posted a new video. Oh my god. Dear Guys, Santa Anna's friend is so funny. <laughs> Anyways, we were just re-watching a video because I was like, have you seen that? Oh. 
have you seen that video? And she was like, yes. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. <laughs> okay, but anyways, we're gonna go to the golden ticket tonight. <laughs> it's called Open Sesame. Open Sesame. But I was like, what's it called? The golden ticket? And then that's what made me think about that TikTok. Wonka, wonka, wonka. Okay, Mediterranean tonight before fast food. Mediterranean to chase, no, Mediterranean chased with fast food. Yeah. We got spicy hummus and some pita. I'm gonna get some veggies too. <laughs> I almost put it on your lines by accident. <laughs> Guys, we just walked in and they gave us these Cane Fest passports. Oh, okay. My arteries are so far. <laughs> this is crazy. I think that you should get in the Sonic line if you want Sonic. This is so cool. Wait, why is it? What is why is it foggy? Kind of looks great. I don't even know. I don't really looks understand like what it is. Looks like a bougie glizzy. Yeah. All right. It actually smells like a strawberry donut. Very sweet. Yeah, it's busted. It's yeah? really good. I want to try. Oh wow! Isn't it good? I love that. Oh, what is that? Who is that? What a figure! <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> try it. Oh my God! There's mini donuts. Usually we hide Anna, but it's a group effort tonight. Oh my God, I'm right in the middle. <laughs> it's true, guys. She's real. She's <laughs> real yeah. dry. I like this the best. I honestly, I agree. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just recorded a whole clip. I didn't press record. But I'm going to end off this vlog here. I just got back and it's literally 10. And my videos usually take like two hours to upload. So it's going to be a late one for me. But <laughs> I love you all so much. really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Good night.